young girl made a speech online. I think it was her first speech. She blew the world up with her speech. She's an incredible girl, an incredible speaker, and she's so full of love. So we have asked her to come and speak her love to you today as a young person. So let's give a hand for Laura. with me because my voice is going of all days. So we all know why we're here today. Yes. As imagine that we all know about a piece of legislation that has recently emerged as part of the Coronavirus Act 2020. The retention of fingerprint and DNA profiles in the interests of national security. Yeah. Isn't it funny how just six months ago the idea of containing our information through biometric identification and DNA was considered a conspiracy theory? And just recently, Tony Blair claimed in a BBC interview the only common sense way to move forward from this situation was with digital identification. He also claimed that it was essential for there to be a track record kept by the government of everyone vaccinated for the virus. Wasn't this also classed as a conspiracy theory six yep. months ago? Yep. Yep. In my opinion, the problem lies in the fact that people are not thoroughly informed. And information is key. Knowledge is key. It's key to being able to make decisions and form opinions. And it's key to being able to think for yourself. Now, I was there once. I was once ill-informed to many things. But the second that I began to question everything that was happening around me and why, I discovered information that I would never have found otherwise. And believe me, I'm still learning a lot. This information, it's hiding in plain sight, right in front of our eyes. And one of them being Operation Lockstep. A section of a wider document called Scenarios for the Future of Technology and International Development. This was written 10 years ago by the Rockefellers and even talks about biometric identification. The mainstream media or the government, they will never tell you this about this information because it's not their narrative and it's not their agenda. You can only go looking for it yourself. But when the media and the government present you with information, the trick is to listen to how they say what they say. Yeah. Recently, they've been talking in cases, not deaths or hospital admissions, cases. And cases can range from asymptomatic to mild to severe. But we do not know how many of these cases are which because we are not told. They just tell us cases because that alone is enough to scare people into believing that we're still in such a threatening position based on the way we've been told about the virus from the beginning. When in reality, we're not. Because if we were, why would they need to pay people to be tested? Eat out the help out scheme in the first place. Yeah. Why are we even seeing a rise in spikes in cases if the masks work so well? How can we say that we are still being threatened by this virus when the government downgraded it from being a high consequence infectious disease on the 19th of March 2020? Four days before yeah. lockdown. Everyone across the world, we have become divided in so many ways. It's black against white, young against old, man against woman, and now it's mask wearers against non-mask wearers and sheep against tinfoil hat wearers. <laughs> It's really not the way forward. The way forward 
is by informing others in ways that leaves them questioning and thinking. Now, I hope to achieve that with my, with my generation when I first broke out in Liverpool. And my speech has already made a huge positive impact on many of my peers and I hope that that, and I really hope that that's true. Young people and children are the easiest to influence with what's to come if we allow what's happening around us to continue without question. We were already blamed for the rise in spikes in cases even though we'd just been given the chance to eat out and help out and even though the entire nation was given the same opportunity. So why just blame the young people? and every one of you here today. Starting from now, make it your aim to inspire at least one person. And by doing so, you will have doubled the number of people here today. Be assured that they do not have to be afraid and encourage them to think for themselves and do their own research. And this includes everyone all professions, all walks of life, and our friends and our families, and so on. Join us in the fight for our freedom and peace. Because we are the people, we have the power, it all depends on how we use it. And we're almost there. Thank you. start talking like old people. <laughs> what a wonderful girl. Let's hear it for Laura. Woo!